got me in mind. I think that's what we need to do. Uh, that's what I'm telling you. Do the same thing you feel. Good afternoon and welcome to a surprisingly punctual Kingston Heath for our round two fixture between Bentley Greens and Box Hill United. My name is William Bennett and I'll be bringing all the action from this afternoon's proceedings. As you can see, we're already bang on the clock. Certainly unusually punctual site as we did reference. But it is barely a minute into the game and not particularly anything missed. Thankfully all you at home. Of course we do have the odd technical issue here and there. But don't shoot the messenger. Anyway, without any further ado, we'll quickly get through the starting lines for you all, beginning with our hosts. In goal number one, Ming Hui Chen. Number four, Jelliet Lemonyu. Chris Charles for the Greens. Both back in the bob for their captain. So it shall hold in the midfield. And so as we're saying, number five, Sarah Johnston. Number six, Sienna Fogarty. Number seven, Kirsty Shearing. Number ten, of course, their aforementioned captain, Olivia Bomford. Number 13, Jasmine Kane Edwards. Number 14, their goal scorer last week, Isabella Fernandez. Number 17, Renee Sofrondas. Number 21, Anna Hurley, making her debut for the Greens. And number 22, Ju Ryan Hahn. As for the visiting 11, we have number one, Natasha Satopoulos. Number four, their captain, Olivia Ellis. Number five, Kiara Letteri. Number six, Zoe Hudson. Number seven, Chi Ting. Number 10, Mariam Anvari. Number 12, Bridie Cooling. Number 13, Belinda Stosiewski. Number 18, Bella Stringfellow. Number 26, Mawa Sumaro. And number 27, Nicolina Butzelow. Greens, of course, kicking from right to left in there. Imagine this, the green kits. The visiting box hill in there, white and very much Oxford blue, left to right. Chances for the visitors as I look for Anvari. Anvari, of course, with Bentley last year, back when they were the famous Bayside United and their wonderfully orange kits. As I certainly great deal for Anvari to prove this weekend as she returns to her former club. Of course with Bentley keeping much of their core from last season. They also have to prove that whether or not Anvari is a loss in the grand scheme of things for their core. Uh, looking to progress further, he said Oxford Johnson. Johnson plays up to the wing. Pass incomplete. Finds Anvari. Anvari there with a bit of a tussle shearing. Butzolo. Butzolo. Can't get past Kane Edwards. Cleared there by Johnson. But Box Hill are still back with the attack. And so can Pythagoras push forward. He's out for a throw. For Ellis, Ellis there looking a bit advanced for her usual position. Butzlow plays out for Stringfellow. 
Three pilot, now she got the pace, she does. Holds, plenty of space and time. Looks forward there for Letari. Letari, forced play out. They do end up with a throw box hill. Only the slightest touches of the Bentley defender. Two changes for either side in their starting 11 today. This weekend, of course, sees the debut of Anna Hurley for Bentley. With Renee Safrondus also coming into the starting 11. Safrondus and Hurley seeing Parker drop to the bench as well as Rima out for the, from the squad for this afternoon. Hurley looks pushed forward. She finds Fernandez. Fernandez into Bonfoot. Bonfoot under pressure. Can't control there. Letari plays back to Stringfellow. Stringfellow denied there by Hurley. The American, originally hailing from Boston, has played a trade at Oklahoma State University. So there's a number of academies, even at one point making the under 15s national team camp. Quite an achievement. Kane Edwards. Plays it in centrally for Johnson. Johnson crossed to the far side wing with Lemieux. Lemieux herself having quite an impressive career at her age. She was at one time a junior at this club, back when it was Bayside. But she has spent quite a few years through the FBA Emerging program. Did even bring through into the Emerging Matildas. So certainly a name to watch for the future. String fell over the throw. Unable to find Doy. So there's been a very late change there for Box Hill. It was originally Suka Doy, first dropped to the bench. One of the many pleasant surprises that happens in the NPL. Box Hill looks around Vari. She's got space, but can she get to the ball in time? Technically, yes. But not quite enough of a gap there. Save her skin. And so it shall be a goal kick. Of course, Chen with the honours there. Ops for a slight tap. But our referee, Vince Fercalo, is opting for a brief breather there for Anvari. She looks to collect herself. Looking a bit sore from that slide. Katie Woods looks long for Bonford. Ball bounces out, but still with Bentley. Hahn there with the throw, plays back to Kane Woods. Turn to Hahn. Hahn looks for an option. Goes for her centre half. In Fogarty. Fogarty crossed to her opposing full back. Lemieux. Footslow collects. Turklo nearly collects the ball there himself. Ellis tries to play forward for a winger. Briefly back with Ellis. But lost in the fray there. Slides kicks there from Shen. Fogarty. Looks for Kane Edwards. Kane Edwards finds Hurley. Hurley pressured. But Kane can progress. Hahn. Kane Edwards. Sends it long towards Hurley, but not far enough. Headed forward by Hudson. The other American in play for this afternoon.
throw a wood to the visitors after some contest. Three for light, forced to track back a little bit. But we do set the throw. Whistle there. Tries to give it in. Hard. Plays back for Kane Edwards. Kane Edwards with space. Lots to play into a midfield. President with Johnson. Lemieux. Looks for the long ball. Let's complete a pass. Look back into Lemieux. Just to maintain possession here. Bentley trying to progress. And look for Fernandez. An easy collection there for Slodzewski. Back into our keeper, Sadopoulos. Sadopoulos, of course, last year with Horenberg United. So they had one of the strongest seasons among us in the NPLW last season. I'll go so far to say she was certainly the best on ground last year. Uh, of course, it is merely my perspective. Certainly a keen pick up for Box Hill. Very quick awarded. That shall be the American in Zoe Hudson to take it. Hudson looking for a longer option. She does have puts low. And then she opts towards Letary. Letary can't quite get there. Ellis. Plays for a wing. And Vari. Looking for an option here. Finds Butzolo. Butzolo under pressure from Hurley. Tries to return the favour. It's with Fogarty. Kane Edwards. Into Johnston. Johnston goes long. Should be string foes collect. As she's chased by Hahn. Back to the top of us. Plenty of time for the Vauxhall keeper. So they can readjust. Sent long and forward there for Chi Ting, the Chinese midfielder. First in the woodwork here for the afternoon. Charts. Charlie. Ooh. And so with two almost perfect chances initially from Ting and Doi. Both coming off the side of the woodwork. Tell you what, if you were Bobby Shredroff's side. If you're trying to get closer than that. Oh, certainly, they've got the half ball, but they've got to go for the full eye. And so it shall be Greens with the goal kick. Kane Edwards looking for a longer ball. So it opts the pass. And a couple of with Hurley. Early looks for Fernandez. Set off for Hahn. Hahn with the touch. Because she's bringing the cross. Very much under pressure there from Stringfellow. Play centre for Johnston. Johnston tries to win it in. Ball defended by Ellis. And thankfully for her side, Cool is offside against their opponents. So, nice and comfortably, said Hobbles, shout the kick. Without uh, any immediate concern. Looks around Vari, and Vari, a bit of a knock there off Fogarty. Fogarty comes up Victors. She finds Hurley. Hurley putting string fellow back on the ground there. Great bit of footwork there. And it does bounce up forward to then Vari. And Vari tries to find Doi. Turn to Bentley Brooks. Kane Edwards. Looks for option centrally. Can't connect with Bomford. Looks like Butzel is down with a bit of a knock there. I think she's all right. Hard. Into Johnson. Johnson plays out just to make sure 
Looks like it can be checked. Fair old knock there she's received. So hopefully she's good to go. It is Butterfly's third season with Fox Hill. So she's a former youth product of United. As well as having the role of deputy captain for the 2024 season. Certainly, it seems that Bobby Sodrowski was keen to ensure for this season, of course, beyond. Hudson. Nice foot slow. Slice touch. Can't complete the pass. Doy does eventually find the ball, though. She's under pressure. Johnston. Back for Fogarty. Looks for Hahn. Hurley. Hudson. Foot slow. Plays back in for Hudson, the number six. A chance to press forward from Cooley. It's swung in there by Ting. Look for Anvari. Can't complete the cross. And so, as we complete our first initial 15 minutes, still a few clear signs for this picture. Bentley. So the world get forward, but they just can't break through this box of defence at the moment. Of course, it did take them the full 90 last weekend to finally find the back of the net against presently top of the league, South Melbourne. Dover the shot there. Well wide on target. Of course, going back to last weekend's goal for Bentley. It was number 14, Isabella Fernandez. Fantastic strike there. After quite the chase to break through the Hellas at back line. Of course, merely a constellation for themselves. For one being that final result. This is Box Hill, of course. Also, coming up short. After leading in the first half through Mariam and Varu. They would go on to lose 2-1 against Race Lepros, Brunswick Juventus. Bomford. Johnson. Lemieux. Looks long. Just get a touch to Fernandez. Fernandez offset to her winger. Can't quite swing it back in for Fernandez. And so it's Ellis to knock it long. And despite the chase from Doy, it's a bit too much rolling on that ball. Eventually, it shall be Bentley with the throw. Plays it in the midfield by Butzolo. So. Looks far to Johnson. Finds Doy. Doy plays back for Ting. Ting to Ellis. Returned. Ting looking for an option. Starts to play for our centre back in Stojewski. Hudson. Looks long. Can't find her pass. Early looking to chase down Hudson. Joy in possession. Sends it forward for, I do believe, to be Tig. Still in here. So what can Box Hill make of this? So they can't get a shot on. The line being cleared there by Sophronidis. One foot. Looks for Hurley. Tries to play through for Fernandez. That potentially offside position there is blocked by Box Hill. Who quick to counter. Letary. To Ting. Looks around Vari. Not forward by Fogarty. Back with Ting. Cooling. 
Cross for Stringfellow. Stringfellow tries to beat Harlan, the Korean national. Um, so the pressure there, Officer Fogarty, with a bit of breathing space. Let me with a long ball. Check out out for a box will throw. As we complete the first 20 of this afternoon's clash. Of course, this is not the only fixture on today. But all part one of the fixtured games for us today. Calls for a back pass. Brushed away by our referee this afternoon. Hurley being hunted by Stringfellow. Hurley can't clear a pass yet. Finds cooling, cooling. Tries to let it forward. Potentially there for Latelli. So he's back again with Bentley. Very much rapid, he's changed the possession. Hurley perhaps with a chance. Got to get past Stringfellow first. So she does, can she get the ball in? Blocked by Stringfellow, collected by Hudson. Line cleared for Box Hill. And so the battle begins all over the end. Kane Edwards. Early. Back to Kane Edwards. Looks for hard. Prevented by Brutzolo. Early. Pressure by Cooling. So it's actually there with the support. And Vari. Brutzolo. And a pre every pressure there from Hard. Out for a throw for Box Hill. And so, string fight with the throw. Finds Envari. Tries to lop it over the head of Butslow. Just manages to find the tally. Johnston. Plays back to our keeper. Lemieux. Collected by Ting, the Taiwanese international. Shearing sends it long, but can't find early. Push forward by Stringfellow. Johnston into Bomford. Bomford looks for an option. To the opposite chase, can't get it to Fernandez. Calling clears the line for Box Hill. Tents it long for Ting. Can Ting chase it down? She shall. And so, tries to battle pass at Soft Rondus. Terry with a long shot. It's on target, but it is also collected by Chen. And so, it shall remain here at Kingston Heath. Bentley Greens 1, Box Hill United 0. Apologies, Bentley Greens 0, Box Hill United 0. <laughs> Guess that sounds picking up a little bit in what's turned out to be a surprisingly lovely afternoon. Bomford, back to Kane Edwards. Back to Bomford, finds Fernandez. Looks for Hurley, Hurley's got space. She's got no one on her, can she get her shot on? She can, but she's offside. And so what should have been our opener this afternoon is again pushed to the side by our assistant referee. So what Bentley, has certainly been, unfortunately, has certainly done well not to concede themselves. Box Hill having certainly the larger share of the pie when in terms to shots on so far. As we've seen just there, they are 
very much threatening goal. Kane okay, Edwards, acres of space. Looks for Fernandez. He said, able to find the boot of shearing. Back with Box Hill. I look for Butzlow. He said, they find Kane Edwards. Hurley, battling with Stringfellow. It's only having a bit of a game between themselves this afternoon. Certainly fantastic seeing the winger try to battle with the fullback. Cooling under pressure from Shearing. Can clear a line. Can't link up with the teammate. Back with Bentley. And they look for Fernandez. It's not Jessica there. Doing well. She's got boot in front. But she just need to watch her line. Bonford looks for Hahn. Foot slow. Getting there first. Often to clear the line. Play for safety. Kane Edwards. Early. Beach my string fellow. Matari. Foot slow. Calling. Plays for Ting. Joy. Apologies for Joy. Plays for Ting. Back in the joy. Calling. Line cleared. Ball the centre back. So Boxall in possession. I shut the throw on our far side. String fellow. Looks for Anvari. Anvari. Tries control, able to play back in for Stringfellow. Zoszewski goes wide for Ellis, the captain. Doi looks for Ting. Ting swings it in. Can she find Anvari? She can. Can she get the shot? Not quite. Gets the tip of the boot to it, but unfortunately, millimeters for the side she wanted it. And so it shall remain a donut here at Kingston Heath. Okay, finally on the way, Chen, Fogarty, Kane Edwards is the order possession. Early. Trying to make string fellow. Again, having a game of football to themselves. Hard, back at it early. Uh, no firm options, but can and does get to Fernandez. Fernandez with an incredible chase there. Back into midfield with Hurley. Hurley broke down late there. Looks like they've got some boots st stuck together. That's certainly a bit of a new one. Shall be a drop ball after the instance. No foul is the call. String fellow. Foot slow with Stace. Looks a bit hard. Fires Letary. Letary and plenty of pressure there from Fogarty. He's able to find Johnson. Johnson sends it along, but Fernandez again and caught offside. So it's certainly been a bit of a curse for Bentley this afternoon. While they've been looking fantastic when they get forward, unfortunately for themselves, every time they do manage to get forward, it has been in the offside position. Calling. Looks low for foot slow. Can't get it quite wide enough. Finds Hahn. Hahn to Hurley. Back in Hurley. It's a shearing. Shearing looks for Hahn. Finds Stringfellow. And actually, their feet. 
Puts the loop with Stace. Shearing coming in for the tent, the pressure up. She plays for Letary. Letary can't quite connect forward for Butslow. Does regain possession, but unfortunately Butslow is in offside position. So Shearing can deal with it nice and easily. Plays for Early. Early pressure by Stringfellow. Again, they just can't seem to leave each other alone. Kelly's going to the ground there. Bit of a slip up. And Fari looks for Letary. Letary can't get to the ball just in time. Did seem like she might have been in offside position there as well. So either way, is Bentley with the kick. Let's play into Lemieux. Lemieux, tailed by Letary. Does manage to get a pass through. Back into Lemieux. Lemieux looking for a long ball. I seem to think here. Can't get past Ting. So Bentley just trying to force up the wing. That's strategy they've held for quite a few seasons here. He does occasionally bear fruit. But not on this occasion. Let me you. Able to find the only break for Fernandez. It's all the way back for another goal kick for Harm. Plays nice and lead for Lemieux. Lemieux looking for a pass herself. He's able to find a winger. That is returned. Also, Squish sends it off herself. Back into Chen. Kane Edwards with Hard. Back to Kane Edwards. Find Shearing. Shearing pressured by Calling. Back to Kane Edwards. Kane Edwards with the longer ball. Home for Hurley. Does briefly find Hurley. She can't control. With Butzelow. Hudson. Stringfellow. Back with Hudson. Doy. Butzelow. Butzelow tailed by Fernandez. Can't complete the pass, but does end up with Letary. Only for the most brief of moments. Chairman the clearance. Bonford. Picked up by Ellis, but not for long enough. Johnson, back into Lemieux. Fogarty. Kane Edwards. Finds hard in space, but puts those quick to get on her tail. As Zanfari. Fogarty with possession. Back to Kane Edwards. Kane Edwards has Hurley on her wing. Again, obviously played more centrally. Into her centre half. Lemieux, looking for a longer ball, can't get for Fernandez. Sajewski tries to bring it forward for Letary, but does find a Fogarty once more. Fogarty back into the keeper, Chen. Kane Edwards, looking to get wide, off hard. Brent for five centre shearing. And now the boots, back with Hard. Pressure by Hudson, the American. Into the other American, Hurley. Again, called offside. Very unfortunate there. And Vari finds Butzlow. Butzlow under pressure from Hard. Does manage to beat her opponent. I can't complete the pass to Letary. Fogarty into Hahn. Back to Fogarty. Fogarty finds Fernandez. Fernandez pressured by Doy. Into Early. Early under pressure. He's able to get Fernandez. Fernandez off supply centrally for Shearing. But Slajewski's a bit too bright for her and a bit too fast. Shearing. Sophronidis into Lemieux. Johnson back into Sophronidis. 
And it does shrinkle out there for a box hill throw on our far side. And so with a bit over 10 minutes left of regulation time in the first half, it does remain goalless. So both sides having their chances. And perhaps their timing just need a slight adjustment as we head into the second half. So doing well to keep Bentley in their own back half. Lemieux looking for an option. There's fine stuff on us. As falls back in the action just as quickly. Throws lands with Fogarty. Looks wide for Hahn. Back for Fogarty. Fogarty goes long. Of the tennis string fellow. Fernandez with the slice touch there with Hahn. Play back forward for Fernandez. Can she get there in time? No, she can't. And it goes out for a box hill throw. Shooting fellow has certainly been fantastic in the defence for box hill. Hudson, she's knocking it clear. So. Firm chance for Bentley here. I do have the numbers for Hahn. Just needs to link up with the throw. Fernandez can't control. Does end up with Shearing though. Shearing looks for a captain. Bonford can't quite get a boot to it. So Doy plays wide for Ting. Ting with the pace. It's calling. Calling looks long for Butzlo. Looks like. Not quite having the pace there that she needs. So it should go out for a Bentley throw. Bentley something with a strong to play overall in their first home game as the Bentley Greens. Of course, a long way to merge up, finally taking place. Certainly catching us all off guard a bit over the summer. So the orange of base side goes into the green of Bentley. Hopefully a move which will bring tremendous things to the women's game here in Melbourne. Bonford pressured, but can complete the pass to Hurley. Hurley to Shearing. Shearing looks for Fernandez. Ellis. Tries to keep Fernandez off her tail. Hurley's in there for pressure. Ellis there, showing her experience in the game. String fell to the throw. Doi, puts low, finds calling, calling tail by Bumford, can find Ting, Ting needs control, can't quite link up with the Terry there, so back to Chen, Hannah Woods, to Han, uh, looking to beat past Puts what's low, what's low, can't up trumps there, Still needs to maintain possession herself. Atari. Pressure by Fogarty. Back with Butzolo. Tower by Hurley. Finds calling. And Vari. Back out for Butzolo. There's well of control up there. The line is cleared by Hahn. So he's boxing with the throw. Eventually, we do get a ball, and so back into play. Early, showing a can you sort of foot. It's only a bit of magic there in those boots. 
Bomford. Kane. Johnson there. Fernandez. It's up on us. Set forward for Johnson. Johnson is towed by Sarchevsky. Knocks off her boot. So, back with Doy. Doy finds Anvari. Anvari, pressured by Kane Edwards. As well as staying on her feet. Same cut we said there for Kane Edwards. Calling. Ellis. Looks for Ting. Can't complete. Shearing. Tries to send it forward, but can't quite net the ball how she wanted it. A chance for Ting to swing it in for Box Hill. Ops fly back for Ellis. Ellis for plenty of space. Sends it in. And again, Box Hill hit the woodwork. As thrice. Something that Lightning rarely does. And so, with three should have been goals for Box Hill this afternoon. You can't help but think, if I can strike it thrice, why can't I find the back of the net? And so, once again, we do see a very fortunate escape for me, Huen Chen, the Bentley keeper. Box Hill still trying to put some pressure on Bentley here. Shearing clears the line. Ellis. Sajewski. Can't find Anvari. Back with Ellis. Cooling. Looks for Woods alone. Can she beat her? The opposing fullback said she also let Terry. Let Terry knocked down there. No foul. Let me go with possession. Plays back for Chen. Kane Woods. Central space. Can't bear on Vari though. As she rushes in. Puts on support. Tail by Hahn. Doi. It's cooling. Cooling. Tail there by Johnson. But she can get to Ting. Ting beats her front us. Looks for Anvari. Anvari can't get a touch. Nor can Butslow. And again, what should have been the opening goal for Box Hill. Results in a goal kick for Mei Huang Chen. Certainly, if you wanted anything more of an open chance, you're not going to get that again. And so, three strikes aside, side would work. Two open chances at five. Should have been goals for Box Hill. What more can you ask from most of the side aside from hit it? So perhaps a bit of pressure upon the minds of Box Hill. Or by Earth from Aking. Ash Fernandez looks to break there. Satopoulos, there in time. They have a rush a line and clear it. Giving Box Hill a bit of a chance to drop back. After all, they must keep focus. It's not just a forward line, but the back line. I need to make sure it is in full working order. Line cleared by Hudson. Finds Anvari. Anvari. That's a bit of pressure there from Johnson. Ellis. Should find Butts alone. Can't get ahead to it. It's Kane Edwards. Neither side control it. Still in contest. Finally toyed by Lemieux. But can't complete a pass. Bit of a controversial position there, perhaps. Where Vari awarded the foul and the free kick there. 
only it doesn't mean much for Vauxhall. Bumford doing well to keep possession against Sajewski. That was off calling. Plays with Johnson. Johnson has hard on the, on the near side. Has eventually played for the Korean. Looks for Hurley. Now a third battle there between Stringfellow and Hurley. Ultimately, going by Bentley, as I do at the throw. Hahn, ops, played back for Canada Woods. Canada Woods. The host of Bumford, Bumford leaves. Hahn, tries to bring it in. Finds Joszewski. Knocked forward. Into Bentley's half. Let me there with plenty of space. Fogarty. Kane Edwards. Knocks it long for Han to chase. She does get there, but can't quite control it how she wants it. Battles against Stringfellow. Play safe for Kane Edwards. Kane Edwards again says it long. Bob for chases. Is she onside? No, she's not. It's only been very unfortunate with their timings there, as we're doing well to break through in this first half. Two could have had a few chances there themselves. So as it stands, we're pretty much at the referee of Vincent Hill's discretion. As we are in the heart of injury time. And so, with the kit of Southless, is the half time whistle. Score on presently being Bentley Greens at nil, Box Hill United nil. So, like, plenty of strong signs for both teams. Bentley needs to make sure they keep on side in the second half. Box Hill, actually, slightly tweak their boots. And this time, they won't be hitting the woodwork, nor will they just scrape them to the side. And so, do join us for all the second half action in about 15. Until then, why don't you check in the rest of the league as they finish up putting their match week two fixtures. But until we can recommence, we'll certainly have to see you certainly. Bye for now.
side, a good spin forward. Um, but basically, Wilson will not. That's going to draw a foul. That's going to be the signal. Uh, the Gibson spots the ball. Spin well. Thank you. 
Welcome back to Kingston Heath for all the second half action in our match week two clash between Bentley Greens and Box Hill United. My name, my name is William Bennett. Unfortunately, deep hole isn't quite that quick. Just a sole substitution at half time. By the looks of things, that being for our host in Bentley. Going off the pitch was number four, Juliet Lemieux. She's been replaced by number 18, Madeline Cook. What school, Madeline Cook? Not the same person. That at least 10 years difference. Hudson. Looks for Putzlow. Putzlow doing well to battle against Hahn there. And certainly turn up for another half of firm contest between the two. So they've been great to watch. Eventually, we do see the throw played. And Vara collects from Bonford. To Doy. Doy can't get past Kane Edwards, and so she looks to press forward into Hurley. Hurley looks to beat past Stringfellow. Can't link up there with Fernandez. Ellis with the clearance. A little bit short of the town. Bell, the captain's there. Line cleared by Shoshevsky. It's been for Sovereigners. Fogarty. It's a shearing. Cook. Throw and Vari stuck there with Fernandez. Bomford knocked away. Very still to throw. Scrapes past Fernandez. That off us. Having to make a very rare bit of action. Hasn't had a great deal to, to do this afternoon. Aside from just clear up a few offside positions. So nothing more you would want as a goalkeeper. Let's get through the better. Generally, a sign of safety. And Vari. Chased by Johnston. Looks for Letteri. Finds Letteri. Letteri plays wide for Butslow. Butslow swings it into the box. Does manage to find Ting. Ting. Again, wild target. And so we see our first attempt at a shot into the second half. Seeing unfortunately there, I think the wind just picked up slightly as it curved round. Nonetheless, a decent effort. Deflect the head, it should find Hurley. Just let's get there. Trzewski battling against Hurley. Bomford pressured. Hurley to Hahn. Hahn trying to build up the cross there. She battles against Stringfellow. Pass, not quite linking up there. So it's with Cooling. Cooling finds Butzolo. Bit of a tassel there. As both Butzolo and Kane Edwards goes to ground. So it should be Fox with a free kick. Cook. 
pulling. Tries to find Ellis. Tries both Fernandez. Johnson back and forth for Fernandez. Can she beat her marker? Ops with a pass. Certainly not going to get bo to bother like that. So Presley is with the 12, Riley Cooling. Cooling into Doy. Doy tries to find Butzlo there, but she's not quite on the safe wavelength this time around. Bentley with a throw on our opposite side. Just no, that was conceded, and so free kick. It does find set off us. He does well to get the, the goal kick there. So I'm not sure her mark can't get a touch on. She plays for Hudson. Hudson. Open for the ground option. And Ting. Reflection off Hurley, it shall be a throw for Stringfellow. It's cooling. Cooling looks for Letteri. Letteri heavily pressured there. Finds Anvari. Anvari tries to send it forward for Doi. Hasn't got the momentum. Hudson tries to force it forward. But there's a box hill here under pressure. They do manage to clear that line via Hudson. Cooling. Looks for Anvari. Anvari, towered by Johnston. Looks like she shout and is a base in there by Johnston. Line cleared by Cook. Else with the throw. Looks for Terry, finds it Terry, she beats Fogarty, barely so, she manages to knock the ball off her, so it's with Bentley, as Safrondas looks to get the ball out of her back line, hit the long ball, does get boxed with the throw, Sanopoulos. Cooling. Into Hudson. Hudson finds Fogarty. Back to Cooling. Cooling. Pressured by Hurley. Finds Butzolo. Butzolo. Looking for a cross as she tries to get past Hard. And it goes out for what I do believe to be our first call of the afternoon. Not any goal kicks. No corners. Short option into Stringfellow. Calling. Calling with the shot. Fantastic shot. An equally fantastic save there by the Bentley keeper in Chen. And so we've had one. Quickly time for our second corner of the afternoon. So it certainly feels like that Bobby Stradzkowski side has the momentum behind them. Can they capitalise upon it? That is the true question. Well, we'll certainly find out soon enough once Box Hill figures out who's going to be taking it. Team with the cross, ball from the corner. Not clear by Chen. Short corner taken by Ting. It's puts low back to Ting. Ting tries to cross in. But it's up and over. Aided by the wind there a bit. So goal kick for Bentley.
Tiny in the woods. On. Off string and throw it. Four Bentley throw. Hurley. In a promising position. Finds Fernandez. Ellis. He wants to defend there. Not too. Arrowwood with a goal kick there. Fellow, calling. Looks long, foot slow. So a bit unaware there. As she's caught napping by Kane Edwards. There's plenty of time and space. Seal the ball and knock it full for Hurley. Hurley with the cross. Looks for Fernandez. Knocked off Shadevsky. Still Bentley possession. Shearing, looks for Bomford, moved by Doy, Cook Drew won't get possession there, but a foul is called, as the Terry receives a bit of a head knock on the way through. from Bomford and Johnson back of calling collected at Bar Shearing Johnston finds Bomford Bomford pressure by the Box Hill captain and then Barry comes up Trumps looks for Tink denied by Cook suffering us Fernandez, called offside, very narrowly. So, just for a quick breath for Box Hill. Dan Hobbles, Hudson. Catch the fights with Terry. Terry under pressure. Gets the Doy. Doy aims to go wide. Has got the force, but gets foot slow there. Drink fellow. It's calling. Calling, looking for an option. Force play back into Zoe Hudson. Hudson looks for the Terry. Long ball from Bentley. Tries by Fernandez. Doesn't quite have the pace there. As the spectators see a little bit of a battering. With the Bentley Juniors once again back in action. Not how they want it. Sanopoulos with the goal kick. Again, ops for Hudson. Hudson pressure there by Hurley. Can't quite get it under control by Doy. Back with Bentley. Back by Calling. Calling pressured by Zanvari. Zanvari with space. But she's getting tailed. Fernandez with a bit of a tug there. Kane Edwards. Firm clearance by Sajewski there. Much no nonsense from the Box Hill defender.
goal kick for the visitors. As we enter the 61st minute reply. Zorbos eventually gets skulking on the way. Yeah, he's back with Bentley. Top of us. Looks for Johnson. Finds calling. Touch from foul, waved on there. Looks for Butzlo. Butzlo looks for Ting. Can't get that far. Ruan Bari. Cleared by Kane Edwards. Headed back forward by calling. So in front of us is a Bumford. Bumford pressured. Looks for Fernandez. He's offside. Cook. Oh, it's back for a keeper. Chen sends it forward. Fernandez. Again offside. Water there, and our first booking of the afternoon, low card for Bentley's Sarah Johnson. So exulting in a few ironic whoops. And so is Olivia Ellis, the free kick. Does eventually get to Anvari, not the cleanest. So it looks for an option. Does it on Butzlow, again, not cleanly. Butzlow is showing her immense pace. Calling. That's a crack. Very much not under control there. So out for a goal kick for Bentley. <laughs> Chin there. Force fan or ball. Touches away when there's no ball, kids. And so the visitors shall make their first substitution of the afternoon. Coming off the pitch. So number five, Kiara Letteri. She's replaced by number 26, Mara Sumaro. At five, Letteri off. Number six, Samaruro off. So, back on the way here at King's Peak. Bentley looking to progress as they find their captain Bonford. He's got clear by Stringfellow. The shearing. Shearing for Hahn. Kind of Woods. Into Fogarty. Fogarty finds himself in front of us. Cook. Doy. The collection. Cleared by Kind of Woods. Calling. Knocks up for Bootsolo. Samaro. Back into Bootsolo. Can she swing it in? She can, but no one's there to collect. Sophronis. Clearing the ball. It's not the most clinical of clearances, but it's effective. And so, corner for Box Hill. That shall be number 26, Mara Samaro with the honours. Swung back into play. Can't find a white shirt. And so there's a bit of a battle. 
Bumps reverse, calling. Calling comes Trumps. Samoro. Pressure by Sophronidis. Calling. Tower by Bumford. Left for Cook to do it. Sophronis to do it. Chen. Forced to dive to make the save. And so, with 25 minutes left to go over regulation time, we are yet to find our maiden goal of the afternoon. Butzelow, do well to progress to Box Hill. Drop down. Looks like no foul there. Good strength on now. So let's swing it in. Wide of the target. Still technically in play. But only briefly. And eventually trickles out for a Bentley throw. Two well control there by the midfielder. So quickly is exchanged to Box Hill for a throw. Ellis with the honours. And Vari back to Ellis. Shy swing into the box. Can't quite hit it how she wants it. Big Chen. Boom. Boots it forward into the opposing half. It's left for San Alpos to deal with. To Ellis. Ting. Brought down. Foul there by Sophronis. Sozhevsky. Cross for Hudson. Hudson, tell by Hurley. Calling. Looks for the wide option in Ting. Ting tries to swing it in. Hasn't quite got enough height on that. Fogarty. A nice firm clearance there. And Vari. Collects the throw. Can't quite get the doy. Calling. String fellow, Samoro. Doi, and Samoro. Tries to find String fellow. Advantage play. Only three play. Bonford. Fernandez. Should be onside this time. Can she beat her man? Not on this occasion. As I promise to stay, put an end to that promising forward. Movement from the Bentley bench. Perhaps we might say their next substitution, not too far away, to their players warming up. It's really quite active technical area. As it stands, Doy looking to progress for Box Hill. Plays wide for Butzelow. Can she get there in time? Only just, as can't control. Kane Edwards. Wide for Bomford. Supported by Johnson. Nearly beaten by Invari. Back with Bomford. Johnson. She's got space and time. Oh, so back for Bomford. That's the chase. Is Bentley with a throw, nonetheless. So Frondus. Bomford. Nice bit of aerial work there from the Bentley captain. The line cleared. By the box still centre back. So front of us. Looks for shearing. It's a Fernandez. Can she get a shot on? And once again, it feels like we're cursed to not have a goal here. As it's this time, Bentley's turn. To knock off the woodwork. Shearing. 
looks wide for Harlem. Harlem trying to find an option. As she battles past Butzalo. Just managed to get Fernandez. She's brought down. No foul, however. Early. Heavily pressured. Early desperate for an option there. Plays back for Shearing. Managed to end up with Cooling. Cooling to Ting. Ting stays that long. Looks for a Samoro. Samoro needs to beat Shearing. Something she will do, but merely on a technicality to none's advantage. Cooling. Sends it long. Yeah, it's just a civil collection there for Cheng. And she tries to find a teammate in the opposing half. Except back into the Bentley half by Ellis. Sojewski. To Ting. Ellis. Doi. To Ting. Sojewski. Looks to go wide. Cut on the string fellow there. And so Hurley catches her off guard. Set ball for Fernandez. Can Fernandez do something this time? No, she's collected there. So Looks like to be Hudson. And it's going to be Box Hill with the next change of the bench. And so we see number 16, Olivia Johnson, coming onto the pitch. She's replacing number 27, Nicolina Butzlow. So that's 27, Butzlow off. 16, Johnson on for Box Hill United. Right, there should also be a change for our host in a moment or two. As we see Bentley just getting the numbers booked in. And so let's see our four officials go to Thunder Way to do what they do best play with board. Stanopoulos brings it back into play here. <laughs> Sends it to Anvara, and Anvara can't control on this occasion. And so he's with Savrondas. Looks for Bomford. Bomford gets the touch. No support. Does eventually find Cook. Sojewski, Sofrondus, Sofrondus, looks, set it for Shearing, Shearing briefly gets there, but just doesn't have quite the time or space that she needs nor wants. Irregardless, fell into the corner, and so, as we have their corner, she have their substitution. With number 14, Isabella Fernandez, coming off the pitch. Been replaced by another 15, Gabrielle Simpson. So 14 Fernandez off, 15 Simpson on for Bentley. Fernandez certainly having a strong day in the office this afternoon. Unfortunate being caught offside as often as she was. Unless she was certainly looking very threatening. Having already had one goal this season. Been last week at Lakeside Stadium against South Melbourne. Through a top of the league, going into this match week. Line cleared by Ellis. Picked up by Johnson. Officer a keeper. Chen. Belts it forward. Flies ahead of Anvari. Back with Johnson. Into our substitute, Simpson. Tomorrow, calling. Calling looks to go wide for Stringfellow. Apologies. Looks to go wide for Johnson. So 
Moro. And Bari. It's a bit cook. I can't bait Canada Woods. Ball comes out for Bruxel throwing out near side. After a switch of sorts. Ting. Calling. Tomorrow. Back for Hudson. Hudson and Stringfellow. Tries to find Samoro. Intercepted by Shearing. Back with Stringfellow. Calling. Tower by Bonford. It's Hudson. Tomorrow. Can't find a calling. With Johnson. Joshua looks for Early. Early's got space. And his boxer with their first book in the afternoon. Looks like it was for the number 18 at Bella Stringfellow. Going by our angle. There's Bentley with the free kick. And so, what can the Bentley captain, Olivia Bomford, do with this? <laughs> and so, the ref finally gives Bomford the go-ahead, swings it in, and it's a goal! Stanopoulos can't quite get a firmer touch to that. And so, with that incredible strike from the Bentley captain, finally we can say, there's a goal. And so, with that hallmark, it is Bentley Greens 1, Boxville United 0. And so, for the first time this season, and in new colours, Bentley take the lead at home. Samoro looks for cooling, calling under pressure. Shower retain possession into Hellas. Hellas forward for Ting. Ting towered by Sophronidus. Should still hold it. Called for a foul. Waved on. Plays into Cook. Cook looks at it forward. Gonna find Sadopoulos. Picked up by Johnson. Samora tries to recollect. It remains in the midfield. Calling eventually get it under control for either side. Long for Ting. I can only find Buddha Sophronis. Ellis. They have support. Cook wallops it forward for the captain. But put, can't quite get a touch there. Zajewski, Zadopoulos, Zadopoulos with plenty of space and time. 
Finds cooling. He's pressured. Can only get that. No, she can't. Podesky for clearance. Finds Fogarty. Kane Edwards. Shearing. Looks like shall see ourselves another substitution. It looks like it shall be for the visitors as well. And then it will. A uh, double substitution at that. So we'll confirm the numbers for you as soon as we can. And so, in that substitution, for the visitors, it is number 7, Cheating, and number 18, Bella Stringfellow, coming off the pitch. They've been replaced by youngsters, number 50, Olivia Atteri, and number 57, Allegra Angel. That is 17, 18, Stringfellow off, 50, Atteri, 57, Angel Early. Looks for Hahn. Hahn caught offside. Pretty much the curse of the Greens this afternoon. Of course, I did manage to beat the offside trap via the set piece and the beautiful boot of Bomford. And Vari tries to control it. Can't connect with anyone. Finds Kane Edwards. Kane Edwards forward for Simpson. Simpson finds Hurley. Hurley under very firm pressure. Tries to swing it back for Simpson. It's with Hahn. Just that kept in. Simpson. Lead by calling. Shearing early. Um, looks for Bomford. Zan Robles is there to collect in time. Well, probably could have been 2 0 for a moment. Angle. Navarro. Tries to play back in Navarro, but she hasn't the pace. Cooling, pressure by Bumford. Find some more. Hudson. Hudson sends it long. Finds Doy. Into the substitute angle. Samoro. Pressure by Bumford. Finds that team at Materi. Collected by Harm. Shearing. Kane Edwards, back to Shearing. So it's hard to have a little bit of game between themselves. I don't know how he's supposed to waste five minutes. Cleared by Johnson. Hudson, Flex, plays for a keeper. Hurley, 
There's one appear at the ball there from Simpson. Johnson, apologies. As we shall have another substitute, it's time for the hosts. And so we see the American, number 21, Anna Hurley, coming off the pitch. She's replaced by number nine, Coco Parker. So that's 21, early off, nine, Parker on. Once again, corner for the hosts. Ball swung into play. Trying to find a box on the head, as it's cleared away. Parker. As you get our first touch of the day. With Doy. Doy pressed by Kane Edwards. And Vari just there in time. But can't hold it. Throw for Bentley. Here by Ellis. Bomford. Sopranos. Can't send it over. Ellis with the throw. Goes long for Doy. Doy can get a touch. Can't control. Cook into a keeper Chen. Back for Cook. Set long for Parker. She should get there with the fresh legs. There she does. Soljewski, not far away. Throw for Bentley. Bentley with the luxury of being able to stop the throw takers. And meanwhile, run down the clock a little bit. Knocked by Ellis, head of Bomford. Knocked again by Ellis. Johnson can't get out of the aerials. Set up boss. Arab to collect. Nearly caught out there. Samoro. Plays for a fullback. Boxell looks to progress. A little bit of physicality there on the far side of the pitch. That's showing a bit of frustration. Both sides do need to keep composure a little bit longer. Or intercepting the throw there. Can't control. And it Bentley regains the follow up. And so, less than a minute left for regulation time here at Kingston Heath. And it looks like we shall be set for two minutes. So we do wait for the confirmation from the fourth official. Samoro swings it in towards the goal. A bit high for the knees of Box Hill. Eventually we shall get the goal kick underway. <laughs> and so the full official finally confirms the result. There'll be two minutes of extra time. That is two minutes additional time here at Kingston Heath. Tomorrow, battling hard against Han there. Back throw of the fence. Intercepted. 
die hard once more. To Fogarty. Kane Edwards. From foot. Sends it long for Parker. Can Parker get a touch? Not quite. So that was just in the way. Fortunate timing there. Knocked forward by Cook. Calling. Samora. Go back by Shearing. And the foul is awarded. Free kick, passed well by Kane Woods. Finds the teammate in Simpson. Simpson tries to play across Parker. Parker, not quite having the legs she needs there. Goal kick for Fox Hill. And the dynamics of the afternoon sun. Sofrondas. Into Parker. Parker looks for Bomford. That's still with Ellis first. Lead by Stojewski. And Bari. Back to Stojewski. Angle. There's long for Doy. Doy gets there. Can she break Bentley's hearts? She's brought down. But no foul is the referee's decision. Vari, Cherry Ellis to throw. Doy looks for an option. Finds out Vari, and Vari sends it into the box. The box is going to head to it. Can I get a boat to it? No, they can't. Back out for Ellis. Ellis sends it in. Well, wide well the target. So surely that should be all that we've left to see of the picture today. As we eagerly await the final whistle of our referee. And so just like that is game, set, match, Bentley. And so of any occasion to get the three points at home, Today is probably the perfect day for Nunzito Mayorana's Bentley Greens. Their first points of 2024, their first home game of 2024, and more importantly, their first home victory of perhaps many to come in the new outfit of Bentley Greens. As for Bobby Stradowski's side, plenty of frustration there. But plenty of chances that they should have taken while they had the chance. In the end, is merely Bentley Greens 1, Boxall United 0. And until next time, I've been William Bennett. Thanks for joining us in our Match Week 2 clash here in the MPLW Victoria. Until then, that's all for now. Cheerio.